Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a little bit of a Pena video for you. So I have two reviews to do for you. Uh, one, I've already checked out, and I think I did a rapid review on the Pena Caballero. Um, and then this is a sort of exclusive version from Urban EDC. They were kind enough to send this my way. This is their Sagaha patterned titanium one and we'll get into all the details and stuff on this it is available as of right now on their website there's a link in the description to urban ec it does help the channel if you use that link to buy anything it doesn't have to be this knife can be anything um so if you're up for that definitely do it but um uh, if not no worries I appreciate you watching the video. Um, then we have this. This is on loan from uh, Transparent Knives. This is on loan from Urban EC. It's not my knife. Um, this one's from Transparent Knives. And I got to say, this one blew me out of the water a bit. I have a few gripes with it. But overall, the uh, quick and short of it is this is the best slip joint that is not a Jack Wolf um, that I have handled. And it makes me very excited for the Urban EDC Barley, which is my design with Colin uh, for Devo Knives and is an Urban EDC knife. I'm very excited for that if this is what Riot quality is for a slip joint. So um, we need to pick one to talk about first. And I say we get into the Caballero because we probably have more folder locking knife guys watching this and then we'll get into the slip joint later on so this is the pena caballero and i gotta say i had one of these in for review a couple months ago that uh colin sent me colin is my business partner on devo knives he is also known as cm knife designs and he has one of these it's a bolster lock with my carta and i really really liked it i just didn't want one that was in my carta which was all that was available at the time. And I was thinking, you know, marbled carbon fiber, that's something that Pena does a lot, or some fat carbon would be sick. Um, and then I saw a few at Crane's Cutlery, but um, those were too expensive and were in Dama Steel, I think. So I just passed on those. Um, but then Urban EC dropped this this week, and I was like, hot damn it. I need one of those. So I hit up my contact over there, Matt, who whoop, Matt, who is an awesome dude. Big shout out to Matt. Um, I believe at this moment right now, um, he is probably a uh, father of another child. So big shout out to Matt. Um, congratulations, dude. Um, really, really happy for you. That is awesome stuff. So anyway, um. I hit him up and I was like, yo, I need to check one of these out. Um, I will buy it, whatever, right? And he's like, well, we'll send it to you and you can decide if you, you know, you want to keep it or whatever. And then I could pay for it. So they sent it along and they also sent me this awesome shuffle from Loudy in the Urban EDC uh, sort of Sagaha pattern here. This one's in Zerk, also comes in Copper. These uh, are dropping at the same, or not at the same time, they're dropping as well. I don't know if that already happened when this video posts, so uh, if they did, I'll try to link it, but uh, awesome, awesome piece. I don't know the price point, so I can't speak on that, but they are a pricey product, so just keep that in mind uh, before you go look and go, oh my god. Um, <laughs> so I got them in, and my first instinct was... To look at the Sagaha pattern on the titanium and say, yep, it's just like the F5.5. I just don't love it. I don't know what it is about this pattern on this titanium. It's like they changed the titanium to do the milling or something. And it ends up having this sort of plastic look to me. And I hate saying that. Sorry, I'm trying to grab some kind of a, uh, something to clean my glasses. Oh, there sorry i got something like in the corner of my glasses and it's really annoying you know how that goes or you might uh, so here is the urban ec f5.5 bead blasted obviously 
I don't know what that blue shit is. But anyway, I don't know. Does that look like the same bead blast to you? Or does it look like a darker sort of bead blast in some way? I don't know. It just looks a little different. And then you add the Sagaha to it, and it just kind of gives... To me, it looks like plastic. It looks like a toy um, finish. You know what I mean? And I hate saying that because I know that sounds negative, and I guess it is. But that's just how my brain sees it. Um, a lot of people love this. Um, a lot of people think this looks absolutely gorgeous. And it does look good. Um, it's just something my brain correlates with it. I do like this a lot better than I liked it on the F5. Because I think um, it's a smaller knife overall. It's just a little bit less of it. I don't know. Um, but this is obviously a frame lock. So it's on both sides, which is nice. You have a steel insert, which is cool. You have the Pena not-so-deep carry clip, but it works really well. And interestingly enough, on this one, you have standoffs and, a like, a pin here, lanyard pin. Not the biggest fan of that. It just feels like, hey, we're doing a lot of cool stuff, and then, sure, you just get standoffs. Like, why not have a backspacer that matches, you know, but does this model have any with backspacer i'm not sure i can't remember but i don't think the bolster lock had standoffs i thought it had uh, a backspacer but maybe it has something to do with the blade fitting in with the you know the height of the knife because it's pretty short i don't know could be um but either way i just wanted to point that out and out of the box this looked to me to be kind of thick um and I remember saying that about the uh, my Carta one, but I was like, oh, it has inlays, so, you know, it's a bolster lock. It makes sense that it would be a little thicker. Um, but let's see where we're at with this guy. Come back right under the clip. We are at 0.47. So, yeah, so it's not even thick. It's just my brain with the... Um, it's my brain with... I don't know what... With what? I don't know what I'm getting at, but with the small size of the knife, it just looks thick to me. I don't know, um, but it's not. Anyway, um, I really like this knife. It's a fabulous front flipper. It works so well. Honestly, it works better than any of the top flippers that he has done before in the X series. I've tried all of them, basically, and I, I never really enjoyed them left-handed this just pops i mean you don't have to worry about the lock bar because it's on the you know other side there and it really fires out right-handed same thing just works really well and once that uh detent track wears in on the satin it's going to be even smoother the jimping is really good. There's no play or anything. It's dead center. It's it's Riot. Detent's good. Um, the jimping right here is fabulous. This is so aggressive in a good way. It just really grabs you. Um, it's Im almost impossible to miss the flip on this. And you can really hammer it out. Um, I can even do on this knife, I can even do the uh, reach around. Not great, but I can do it. It's really good. The Ergos are fantastic. It's a smaller size knife. So um, here's the uh, Apache slip joint. Right? About the same size as the Apache slip joint. We can grab that F5 again. The F5. It's a little bit smaller than the F5.5. Uh okay so here's what i wanted to get to this knife is wonderful so good um uh, urban ec's version of it is fantastic probably my favorite version of it is this with the sagaha this is growing on me by the way i just probably need to have one for a little bit to get used to it or whatever um you have a really nice belt satin on this M390. It's okay. It's not like super thin or anything, but it's going to be great for EDC. Nice and sharp. Um, the action, really good. Only going to get better. Here's the thing. 
if you don't have this knife, then I think this knife is a great piece to have in your collection. I think it's a wonderful uh, front flipper. I think you're going to really, really enjoy it. I do. But if you're like me and you have a Trevor Burger Custom Urban or even a, let's say you have a Shamwari, I don't necessarily see the point in having the Caballero, right? And I know I'm like splitting hairs or however you want to say it because not a lot of people are going to have a custom burger, right? Um, versus a production knife. I get that, but there are a lot of people that have these. I absolutely adore this knife. This is one of the top three knives ever. It, it, it's in my collection. I love it. I'm waiting on a lefty version. So excited. But it has just as good, better uh, front flipper. I mean, it just... <laughs> It just shotguns out of there. I mean, it's incredible how that D10 is dialed. Um, it has better lock bar access. It just has this whole area right here. It's just so good. The action is much better. Drops. Couple of shakes, she's down, right? And it's literally frictionless. There's no... You don't feel a thing except for, you know... The little bit of tension you have to overcome. Take all that and then add this. Right? I can reverse flick this off of a full hollow grind. So I have everything here. Right? I have the really good front flipper. Um, I have good action. Right? So all that stuff is there. But I can't flick this one. Right, I can't flick it. It's not quite. It's not. It's not even close to as good as this. But I'm not trying to say this isn't good. It's really good. But this is next level, right? It's why it's you know what it is. So for me, if if which I do have this in my collection, I don't need this. This is redundant. It basically would be like I'm carrying this. Well, why why wouldn't I just grab this, right? Um. And that's not to put this knife down. That's just a personal thing. It's like, okay, I'm glad that they just sent it and I got to check it out and I can send it back because if I bought it, I'd probably, you know, have it for a little bit and then sell it right away uh, because I have this, right? Um, but if you don't have that knife, this is a fantastic option. I, you know, I don't want to say it's like the budget, because it's not budget, but like the budget burger, but it, it feels... It feels really close to as good on that. That front flipper is fantastic on this. Action's wonderful. The carry's really good. The profile's amazing. Detent's good. Um, it really hits and checks a lot of boxes. You just can't, you know, you can't reverse flick it. So that's kind of where I'm at with the Caballero uh, and specifically this one here in the Sagaha pattern. So I don't want to like dissuade anybody from getting this. I I recommend it. It's fantastic. Um, I just wanted to say personally, I don't need it is I guess what I'm getting at. But if you do, you're buying a really, really good knife. And if you already own it, you own a fabulous knife. Congratulations, right? I'm um, not trying to de detract anybody from enjoying theirs because it, it's, it's wonderful. So... Uh, that's the Cavalero. Big shout out to Urban EDC Supply for sending this my way. Thank you very much. And then let's talk about the Apache Slip Joint. So this, I believe, is a Knife Center exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this one's in K390. And um, I thought I would rust this guy um, just having it here. And so far, I have it, which is pretty cool. Um, it is... Again, a belt satin, Riot made knife. Um, this one's titanium with these really cool inlays. Um, so there's two inlays. They're kind of divided here, which is unique and looks really cool. You have that wonderful spring, which is flush, flush, 
and flush. Um, this knife has really impressed me in terms of walk and talk. Again, it's the next closest thing I've felt to a Jack Wolf, which makes sense, right? Because uh, Ben over at Jack Wolf is kind of one of his kind of role models, I think, is Pena. Um, it's a little off center. So let's see what happens when I tighten it down. Be a T10. I want to note that scratch right there. I don't think that was from me, but who knows? Could have been. Ooh, was that that loose? Jeez. Um, yeah, see, now it's centering up, but we're going to lose a bit of that action, yeah. So what happens when I tighten it down more? Is it center? Yeah, it centers more when I tighten it. Let me see if this one's loose, too. Nope. So this one... Just tighten that a little bit more centered yeah now it's a bit stiff but it's centered and there's no play so this is where you kind of run into stuff right um pretty centered like microscopic and we're starting to jump a little bit so that's where I think the Jack Wolves really shine is you can get those tight with no play, dead centered, and they're still hopping around. Like the 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 uh, tolerance is just amazing on those, um, and a lot of that has to do with Ben's you know CAD work, design work, um, and then his OEM is really crushing it. But anyway, um, this is the seriously the next closest thing I've felt. Um, I love a lot of the stuff I've seen from QSP, um, JE made. I've really seen some cool stuff uh, recently in the slip joint game, but um, this is definitely the closest thing I've felt. And it's a fantastically comfortable knife in hand. It does have, uh, ironically, it has more of a modern flair to me than any of the Jack Wolves, which is a detractor to me. Um, I like the fact that Jack Wolf takes pretty uh, traditional patterns and then kind of applies their formula to it. Um, the Cyborg's a little different. I love that one. But um, I don't know. This just is a little bit modern for me. Um, I also don't like the blade to handle ratio. I just, it's something that bothers me. And this knife has that. It's very much reminiscent of this knife right here, which we can take a look at. I had this in from a friend to sell or try. Um, he makes this in a, I believe, a sheep's foot pattern, which is very similar. You can see here, blade to handle ratio is almost identical on these. And it's just something that bothers me when um, there's not enough blade for the handle. And it's done for certain reasons. Um, by the way, this is extremely well made. Wonderful custom. This is a Bird Bisque custom in caramel paper micarta. Um, it may be available still at this point. I'm not sure. But it's uh, Knife Ninja EDC on Instagram. My buddy Ev, who's selling this. I believe for somewhere around $800. So just wanted to note that and compare it because it really reminds me of that and it's just a pet peeve i have now the spring on this is better than the bird Vis. this is a good spring um it's somewhere around a seven and a half probably um seven and a half there and yeah about seven seven and a half which um is perfect for me this is the type of spring weight i really enjoy it gives it a nice kind of pop and feel and I don't know how to explain it, but it's it's just my favorite. Dialed in very well. You have a hollow grind, it feels like. Yep, yeah. hollow grind here. Nice and thin behind the edge. Um, done really well. K390 is going to hold that edge for a long time. That's really the appeal of this knife, I would say, um, is that it is done in K390. A lot of nerds want that high edge retention, patinaed, style steel and this uh, does that for them and people want to see that on slip joints especially these newer uh, ones this has a traditional kick instead of a stop pin which is really cool to see on a production knife like this i didn't know riot would even do that 
Uh, I guess I should have known that, but I didn't. Um, so that's cool. It gives you better acoustics. Speaking of which, the uh, walk and talk is fabulous. Finish work, fabulous. Uh, really, everything about this knife is wonderful. Um, I just don't want to rock K390 because I will rust it. And it's a little too modernized for me on the handle. Um, but I am not mad at it. I think it's a fabulous knife. I would highly recommend this if anybody's interested. And um, yeah, Brian, you got a good piece here. I definitely would be lock the shit out of that screw because it would annoy the balls out of me. But I'm sure knowing Brian, he's going to like add a thumb stud and turn it into a lockback or some shit. Um, and it'll be a completely different night. But no, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. And I'm glad I got to check it out. So thank you to Transparent Knives for sending this my way. Go check out his Instagram. So we have the uh, Pena Apache Slip Joint and the Pena Caballero. I guess the point is neither of these are going to make it into my collection at all. Um, but they are both very recommendable, very fantastic knives. Um, and uh, yeah, check them out. So I think Knife Center has this one. I don't know if they're available or anything. If they're doing another run, you'd have to check with them. Um, and then Urban EC has the Caballero. They are in stock at this current moment. So I will link them in the description of this video. And you can check that out. Again, if you use that link, it does help the channel. I would appreciate it. You don't have to do that, of course. And uh, leaving a comment, like, subscribing, all that stuff helps as well. I am on the road to 10,000. We are almost there. So be awesome to get some help and a little push along the way. So um, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.